Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live tree music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It is fantastic that you're here. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on Bon Jovi, in particular their song, Living on a Prayer. And in that song, we met Tommy and Gina, just a couple in love who did the best they could in their days. And I suppose in that video, there was a bit of a shout out to all of you out there who give your best each and every single day. So I trust you enjoyed that one. Well, we go from there to Gaynor Hopkins, who was born in Wales in 1951. Very much influences of rock and pop and Celtic in, in her upbringing. And we're going to um, a lass that had one of these songs of the 1980s, and that is Bonnie Tyler. Uh, between 1977 and 2019, she's actually released 17 albums. She's had 79 singles. There's been a few compilation albums in there. And she's also done a number of videos. So very much found her way in the 1980s. Of course, um, Bonnie Tyler has a, a very distinctive voice. Um, she's been described as wonderfully gritty, distinctively husky. She has a voice unlike any other female artist in the world. And this is due to an operation that she had on her vocal cords in 1970, where they reduced, um, took away a nodule that was in her vocal cords. And of course that changed her voice from what it was and because she was so passionate about singing and she had a dream of becoming a star in the music industry and she learned to really sing and hence we've got this fantastic powerful and distinctive vocal delivery that bonnie tyler actually has so um there's a couple of songs of hers that um, we need to talk about First one is It's a Heartache. Now that came out in the uh, in 1977 and that sold 6 million copies, which is one of the highest selling singles of all time. There have been many highest selling singles, but this is one of the highest selling singles of all time. And then in around, uh, in the early 1980s, um, Bonnie met Jim Steinman. Now, Jim Steinman is a master songwriter and he was particularly famous through the album Bad Out of Hell that was released in 1977 and that was the breakthrough album for Meat Life and there are some absolutely classic songs on that album. In fact, Jim Steinman writes songs which require vocalists to be absolutely incredible to pull them off. We think of people like, obviously, Meat Life Barbra Streisand, Celine Dion. And of course, it was around 1983 that Jim Steinman wrote Total Eclipse of the Heart and um, Bonnie Tyler was just the person needed to pull off with this quite a demanding song to sing, indeed. Incidentally, um, that single also sold six million copies and it was a Grammy nominated song and performance by Bonnie Tyler. So I suppose, um, and just from a personal note, Bonnie Tyler's been married to the same guy since 1973. So very much a st stable household from which Bonnie was able to, to establish and create a career. Which is still going, because you know, an album in 2019, she's still doing this thing. So, but I suppose we do need to think about Total Eclipse of the Heart today. Such an iconic song, such an incredible vocal by Bonnie Tyler. Nobody else would have been able to do this song as well as Bonnie Tyler has been able to do this one. Her gritty and distinctively husky vocals are just perfect for this particular song. And I suppose we think about Total Eclipse of the Heart. You know, we all know what a total eclipse is. That's when the moon goes in front of the sun and everything goes quite dark for a while. 
and you know it's a bit haunting and a bit scary even and um so the concept of total eclipse it's like no the world is very very dark indeed there's tragedy there's sadness there's sorrow there is devastation total eclipse of the heart total blackness total despair and there are times in their lives when it does actually feel like that we think well there's just absolutely no hope at all how am i ever going to get out of this thing that i am in how did i get into this thing in the first place and how am i going to get out of this thing it all seems totally dark and totally despairing but there's something interesting about this clip and i'll talk about the clips in a minute but as you watch the clip and the link is in the description below but this is the official clip you'll see that in every single scene there is light not just uh, lighting for the sake of lighting but light that has been placed in distinctive places just to show that in amongst the despair of her running around this mansion not really knowing what she's doing that there is light there as well it's kind of a beautiful image and bonnie tyler was just perfect for this video the way that she just is and i'm just wondering that in these total eclipse of the heart moments and we all go through them we all wonder what on earth is going on there is i believe anyway some light there as well because we have an eclipse because it is it is blocking out light the light doesn't disappear the light just is hidden for a while by the darkness and we only know it's dark because we know there is light we know what light is like so we know what darkness is like and i don't think i'm just wondering whether the ride ever actually leaves i'm mean, in the re in our really really dark times of our lives and when we're really just wondering what's going on we're in the dark it's all a bit strange and mysterious that if we look deep within there is light the fact that you um, are still here and the fact that you are choosing to breathe and to eat and to get up in the mornings means that there is there is light it may not be very strong but it is there and i think when we're in these total eclipse of the heart moments the choice is to either look at the darkness and be overwhelmed by it or to look to the light at the light that is not actually external to you it is light that it is it is within because there is still a little bit of hope there in what can be a hopeless situation there is a little bit of light still and if you're in this total eclipse of the heart right moment please look for the light that is in you you're an amazing human being and there is light within you think about um you know a darkened room completely pitch black and you know you you close all the doors and windows and you cannot see a thing it is pitch black you know in comes a candle and you you see this light and you see the effect that it has on a darkened room almost beautiful and haunting and almost holy in lots of ways what is the bigger thing in the room is it the candle or is it the darkness well we think about just quantity the darkness is way more darkness in the room than the candle but what takes our attention why where do we where do our eyes gravitate to 
they gravitate to the candle. And as we look at the candle, the darkness almost disappears. Even though it's bigger than the candle, the candle takes the priority because of its beauty and its wonder. I believe that's the same for all of us. You know, even though light is really, life is really, really dark, we, we all have this little light inside us that if we look long and hard, we'll become more uh, visible than the darkness. And as we see in total eclipse of the heart, in every scene, there is light strategically placed just beckoning um, the character in this video to actually look to it and to be taken by it. And in fact, um, at the end of the clip, you know, it's almost like turn around bright eyes. The song is even saying, look, the light was in you the whole time. Even though it was, even though it felt like it was a total eclipse of the heart, there was still a light in you. You just had to look. Stop even and just look and see it. Stop the running. Stop the chasing. Stop the uncertainty. Stop, take a breath and look to the light. And this, that's, that's something quite beautiful about this clip is the fact that um, what can be quite a despairing situation, if you stop for long enough and look for the light, you will find it. So I think that's the encouragement for us today. If you are in a total eclipse of the heart moment right now, first thing to say is, oh man, I'm really, really sorry that you're in this situation. I don't know how you feel. Um, I think we all have some indication of what it's like, but we don't know what it's like for you because we're not you. But this feeling of darkness and emptiness and being scared is something that many human beings have felt over, over the years. And I suppose um, my heart goes out to you. It really, really does if you're in this time of despair right now. And I suppose the encouragement for you is to look for the light. It might be dim. It might be just a flicker. But it's there. And I believe that as if you look for it, it will become brighter and brighter and brighter and it will become the bigger thing in your life and then maybe we learn the things we need to learn and then we can move on from these total eclipse moments and if you are a sort of a such person that's got someone in your life that's really going through stuff at the moment the encouragement for you too is to help the person to find the light within them. Then it becomes a shared experience, something that um, the person can hold on to as they work through the issues they're going through. And of course, if it's just really, really, really dark at the moment, go and have a chat to someone. It's really, really worth it. It's not a sign of weakness. It's not a sign of me not coping. Or well, maybe it is not coping. But it's definitely not a sign of weakness to go and talk to somebody. If it is that your workplace even might have an employment assistance program, um, there's, there's an invitation, I believe, for you to go and talk to them in a totally confidential way about the stuff that's going on for you. And maybe, you know, you can come out the other side slightly stronger and slightly more peaceful than when you went in. Because this is the thing that tragedy and darkness does. It can encourage us to come out the other side stronger. 
So that's the encouragement for us all today. Well, on to the clips. And yes, we have to have total eclipse of the heart. Uh, this came off the Faster Than the Speed of Night album from 1983. And yes, I've got two versions of her. I've got um, the official version, which is the, the beautifully shot clip. Uh, one of the clips of the 1980s, I believe. And there's also a live version as well. So I encourage you to look at both of those. We've also got a, a song that came out a little bit later, also by written by Jim Steinman. This is Holding Out for a Hero. This song is absolutely massive. It is huge. It is another song that requires an incredible vocalist to be able to pull it off. This came off the Secret Dreams and Forbidden Fire from 1986. And um, as I said to you before, to be able to sing Jim Steinman songs, you have got to be an amazing vocalist. Incredible breath control, incredible power and force, passion, sensitivity, the whole thing. Bonnie Tyler is in complete control of her voice. She knows exactly what it's doing and where it's going at all times. And so therefore she can nail songs, massive song of handing out for a hero so so well to so just bear that in mind as you watch these live performances of hers you're watching an absolute music legend here that particular song is live and there's a lot of instruments on stage here so i've gone to a lot of effort to try and get what is a massive stage sound live and i thought also no we need to go back a little bit to where it all started and this is the second album um it's a heartache um, that came off the second album, Natural Force, in 1977. And again, um, this particular single sold six million copies. So this was a massive song for Bonnie Tyler. And it was kind of where it all started for her. A little bit simpler, perhaps even a little bit country, perhaps. But this gave way to rock in the 1980s, for sure. So that's the official clip for that one. Now, the links for all of those songs are in the description below. So please uh, click on one or two, or however many you'd like to do for, to see Bonnie Tyler in all of her element. Um, and you also notice there is an invitation for you to, to, to make a comment, or if you want me to actually look at a song, feel free to drop that in the comments as well, and I'll certainly have a look at that for you. Um, well, thank you for hanging around for another video and thank you for hanging around for the end. It's fantastic that you've been able to join me today. Well, that's it for today. Next time we're going to go on to Aussie band Boom Crash Opera. So until then, I'll catch you around.